but you often will find that the, the chief strategy officer is responsible for defining the direction of the organization and then there's a handover to the delivery side or the execution or transformation teams whose role it is then to, to, to make that idea a reality. You should make sure you set your strategy expectations realistically because they're always grounded in your current capability, the way you run your company now. And big strategic changes require big change management programs. It's cascading down the organization a way of talking about your strategy, setting out what strategy needs to look like, and then having the dialogue that helps these, these business levels help one another hone and refine their strategies and make sure they fit together and reinforce each other. That is a tough job, but that is, that is execution. That's taking accountability for execution. Many leaders fail to understand or underestimate how much efforts, how long it takes to really build the systems, the processes, the procedures, the needed talent base, and change the culture in order to implement the strategies. I think it really starts with uh, engagement. People need to feel engaged about their roles when it comes to delivering the strategy. Um, what we've seen that doesn't work is a very top-down approach, a very authoritative approach. Uh, people are given instructions, but they're not really engaged about what is their role in terms of delivering key outputs for the organization. I think a distinction that Jeff Bezos makes um, in the way that decisions are made is very valuable with respect to how you speed up decision making. And he says, you know, there are two kinds of decisions. There's what he calls type one decisions. And type one decisions are risky, irreversible, they commit to the organization, they can bring the organization's brand you know, to a bad place, and they're a, you know, they require a fairly substantial um, public commitment. Type two decisions, in contrast, are easy to make, they're reversible, they're inexpensive, they're low risk, they are rich with learning, they can be done quickly, and for those kinds of decisions, you know, a small team should be empowered to go and try stuff. Don't bring people to the work. Bring the work to the teams. Make sure that the work is defined in a way that the teams can be successful, that links clearly to our strategic purpose, and ensure that they have the tools and techniques and support they need in order to deliver successfully. The bigger problem though is that we need to balance this natural bias for efficiency and execution uh, with an equal focus on creativity and, and flexibility and experimentation to create tomorrow's business and that um, involves some sacrifice of efficiency for the sake of future option value. And that sounds like a contradiction and it is, which is why ambidexterity is so hard. If you're going to add in new initiatives, then be very thoughtful about what it means for the initiatives that you already have in play and the demands that you're placing on your people. Uh, once again, you know, we all too often in theory assume that there is an infinite pool of highly capable people available to deliver the strategic initiatives. You know, it's a finite resource and therefore it has to be managed in a very definitive way. Keep the cost of failure cheap, then you can fail more often. For me, failure is nothing more than converting hypothesis into knowledge. That's all failure is. Fail early, fail fast, fail cheap, so that you understand the future you can create. Therefore, it is possible to de-risk. I'm not asking any company to throw billions without thinking, because the future is inherently something you can't predict. But you must be prepared to proceed in a future that you can't predict. So imagine if we changed the criteria and we said, we celebrate people that find out wrong things quickly. Like the quicker you learn something is not going to work and you show it to us, you're the best employee we have. And, that, what, and when that happens, it encourages people to then quickly find stuff out whether it works, whether it doesn't work, and then quickly share those learnings because they know that that will be celebrated rather than just showing success. It's time for you to join these leaders. Register now and turn your ideas into real results.